What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's P Dog Shot You here, and I know what you're thinking. I thought you said today was going to be a skit, and tomorrow was going to be an urbex. What happened to the schedule, P Dog? What happened to the schedule? Well, the schedule doesn't start till August 1st, so I'm just kind of filming every day, anyways, and I'm putting the commentaries out because I actually enjoy making these commentaries. They're, uh, relatively easy to make. I'll probably add some more editing in these uh, when we start August 1st, but I, I'm just doing me straight up talking for 10 minutes behind some gameplay. And also, with the gameplay, if you guys have any recommendations for games I should play, I've got a big Steam library. I can pretty much get any game, and I mean, even if it's like an older game, like if you want to watch me play Mario Kart 64 or something, or any GameCube game, I can get an emulator and we can, we can play that as well. Um, I've got Dolphin and uh, GBA uh, for a uh, computer. So, yeah, I can get just about anything you guys uh, want me to play as long as it's on PC for the most part. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was going to talk today. I didn't really come with a uh, idea in mind to talk about. But uh, I wanted to kind of sort of talk about the whole um, abuse of the community guidelines. Uh, strikes lately. I don't know if you guys uh, watch Official Duck Studios. I just kind of I'm subscribed to him, but I don't watch his videos a whole bunch. Uh, but the I've seen lately he's gotten like at least five content or uh, community guideline strikes, and he's been age restricted on almost every video. Uh, it's just because people are mass spamming him uh, with reports and. YouTube's automated system is just automatically taking his videos and age restricting them. Which, I don't know if you guys knew this, but age restricting uh, stops all monetization on the video. And so you don't make any money off that video. Which is kind of messed up because, like, I don't see why that, why that is. You shouldn't, like, not have money, or um, shouldn't be able to not make ad revenue off a video just because anybody under, I think it's 17, can watch it. Yeah, it's 17, I believe. And even if they did want to watch it, like, literally, there's so many ways to get around the whole, uh, like, age restriction. There's websites to do it. You can just, uh, fly about your age on YouTube. I don't recommend that because I feel like that's violating some kind of term of service. But, yeah, don't do that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um... Yeah, I think... I've, I, and I've also seen it on other channels. I was just using, uh, Official Duck Studios as a, uh... Uh, example. I've seen plenty of other people have it happen to them, and I don't think it's, like, really fair. I mean, obviously it's not fair. Uh, it's really reminds me of uh, P the whole uh, copyright strike problem that YouTube had, and, like, literally it took five days of spamming the CEO of uh, YouTube, Susan Wilkowski, or whatever her last name is. <laughs> If, if you look her name up, it's literally just the longest last name that starts with a W. Like, if you if you wanted to print that on a Scantron, you'd need three extra Scantrons just for the last name. But, um, it took, like, five days of spamming her Make YouTube Great Again for her to get the message, Hey, we need you to fix this. And it really shouldn't take that much, honestly. Like, I, th I feel like uh, if I was head over there, I would probably like set up some sort of way, or maybe have a certain person in charge of um, keeping up with like the YouTube community and seeing what's going on and like what are the problems and uh, how we could better fit a solution and then bringing that to the board of like directors. And from there you make a decision on how you're going to fix the problem and how and that way we could get these problems resolved a lot easier if we knew somebody from YouTube was in the community and talking about it. And I bet there are people in the community that we just don't know about and uh, these YouTubers have connections with. But it'd be nice if there was one that was at least public so the smaller channels could talk to somebody uh, or message somebody when uh, there's a huge problem uh, that not a whole lot of people are addressing. Another thing that I've really noticed uh, is bad with the... Uh, YouTube algorithms is how videos are found. Like, certain lengths of time make videos uh, show up more. Clickbait's found more often now. Um, 
YouTubers with low subscriber counts are getting harder and harder to uh, find on YouTube. Like, if you look up small channels, like trying to find small channels, it's really, really difficult. Cause unless you go through, um, this is the way I've started doing it, if you want to find uh, smaller channels to subscribe to, uh, go on a YouTuber's page, like, uh, let's say, let's just use mine as an example. You can go from their page, look at their uh, people that they've like put on their spot or like how, who they're like sponsoring, and saying like, "Hey, check out these channels too," and then just start going on a on a clicking for like just start clicking through from there and finding smaller channels that uh, you like, and you can do that for hours. Like I've sat there and done it for hours before just like looking at new channels and subscribing. I found a lot of channels I actually really like. Um, well, uh, notably, Thevin Amazing is really good. I, uh, if I can remember to, I'll put his link in the description. You guys should go check him out. Um, he does commentaries, kind of like uh, Leafy Pyrocynical style videos, which are pretty fun to watch. I'm, am I trying to be like that? By the way, I I'm going off on a tangent here. By the way, um, I'm not trying to be like those channels. I'm just uploading what I think is interesting, or what I per or what I believe that people will enjoy. And then I'm just hoping that people enjoy it from there. If somebody else, um, and I'm really relying on you guys to uh, tell me what you enjoy because I don't have an idea on what you guys are gonna enjoy. Where did I start here? How did we get off topic this hard? We were talking about YouTube terms of service and uh, copyright guidelines, and I got into what do you guys want on my channel? Oh boy. Um, but yeah, the YouTube guidelines are really, uh, like, with the whole bull, like, people getting copyright, uh, claimed for, or not copyright, uh, people getting claimed for bullying, people getting, uh, claimed for, uh, quote-unquote nudity whenever there's just a phallic-like object in the video. Like, if there was just something that kinda sorta resembled something that might be in someone's pants, you'd get, you're getting age restricted, rest in peace you. And if this was like, if YouTube was your job, that would be a real problem. Like, a real problem. I would not want to be that. Like, I would not want that at all. Because, this is the place. like, I'm not gonna lie. If I was, a, like, being a full-time YouTuber sounds scary just because of how, like, messed up the algorithms and community um, guidelines are. And until those really get fixed, like they were in, like, I don't know, 09, uh, 2010, 20, up to like maybe 2014. I don't think that, um, I think YouTube would be a really scary place to call yourself, or to call your job. Um, and I definitely wouldn't want that. I just, I do have monetization on my videos. Ooh, Q Dog exposed. But it's not because I want to do this as a job. I'm doing this for just, I do the videos because I like doing videos. And it may not look like I do from the, uh, how many videos I've posted in the past, but it's because I just haven't had the motivation to do it because I didn't think there was a, even a chance for me to grow on YouTube. And now I'm thinking about it and seeing smaller channels getting a little bit bigger whenever they post every day. And I'm thinking, I mean, if I can just get to 100 subscribers, I'd be so happy. Like, that'd probably make my day if I got to 100 subscribers. So I'm giving this a shot and, uh, Getting off on that tangent again. Getting off on that tangent. I, I guess I'm just trying to fill up the uh, time for the video. We've got this is a 10 minute clip I'm trying to fill out here. But um, yeah, I think I think I pretty much covered everything I want to talk about with the uh, YouTube uh, like TOS and uh, whole bullying uh, stuff. It's it, it's gotten bad, and I think there needs to be uh, a YouTuber that will come out and talk about it, and I, I think that would really help out everyone. Um, somebody bigger than me, like, Official Doc Studios has ranted about it, like, probably nine or ten times, just because it's happened to him so much, but, like, somebody bigger needs to do it. Somebody with a few million needs to get out there and preach the good word, and... Uh, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Tomorrow will be another commentary. I, I it's obvious I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow will be another commentary, and uh, August first we'll start with uh, the prof like the more edited commentaries, and then we'll do uh, a skit or a uh, real life event, and then we'll go to 
uh, urban exploring and then repeat the process over and over and over and over for the month until I kind of get the idea of what everybody wants. And uh, I'm really hoping that uh, you guys enjoy these uh, because if you don't, I don't have to make them and I can make some uh, other content that you guys might enjoy more. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> that, was, that, was really, that was really stupid. I'm gonna... By the book, gentlemen. You turn the valve, tap that source, and nobody saw you ever. Payday gang win.